Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my April Play Box by Sephora. If you don't like makeup videos, click away. Bye, I'll see you in the next one. Alright guys, so I got my April Play Box here. Now I did take a sneak peek at it a few days ago, but I don't really remember what's in here, which is kind of not a good sign because that means like I wasn't absolutely loving stuff maybe. I don't know, but we're going to take a look at it together and then we're going to talk about March's box because I was living for it. I was loving everything in there, so I'm gonna talk about March's products after I show you what's here in April, and then talk about some new products that I got from Sephora. I finally have some new products to show you. So here we go, we open it up. There's my play card. This gets you 50 extra beauty insider points and expert advice from the girls at Sephora. This is good through next month, I believe, because I was actually able to use my March one in April, like a few days ago, when I got those new products. So this goes in my wallet for the next time I go to Sephora, where the price is your firstborn for makeup. This month's theme is Step It Up. Stellar products are only the beginning. This is the theme of this month. And here are the items. Each month comes with a little booklet. Here is the bag. They're getting so cute with these bags. Here it is. The best things in life are me. <laughs> Same girl. So let's open it up and the first one we're going to pull out is this Purity Simply Made 3-in-1 Cleanser for Face and Eyes. I am so interested. Right now, what do I use for a cleanser? I've tried a couple cleansers from past boxes, but nothing to report on yet. I need to smell this. Oh, there's a little thingy. I gotta know what it smells like. I don't know. I'm weird about scents of things that go on my face. Mmm, smells good. Next, we have a Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencil. This is the M10, so this is probably a wax eyeliner pencil. Yep, it is just a small wax eyeliner pencil. Let me, oop, oops, I was gonna do a swipe for you guys, but I dotted myself. So one swipe and that's what you got. I don't tend to use these ones as much because I like a really dark dramatic effect that's not going to smudge and I find that these smudge but I'm gonna give it a shot since it's a high-end brand one maybe it's better than the drugstore ones that I used to next we have is this empty or just clear maybe, oh it's just clear Smashbox photo finish foundation primer oil free so I tried the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizer one, and that's the first primer that I bought a big bottle of because I liked it, and it was the only one that I'm really, I didn't use foundation primers for years. Like I just started using them maybe last year when I started getting the Sephora box. So I'm excited to try this one because I think the Photo Finish Pore Minimizing one is a little bit too cakey and too thick of a primer. I like liquid primers more. So I'm gonna try this one, but I think I've already found a favorite primer. So you guys, I'll tell you about it in a second. Next, woo, we have Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. Hydration for up to 72 hours for all skin types. Ooh, I'm always down for moisturizers. For best results, apply twice daily to face and neck with continued use for external use only. Well. We'll be making sure of that. I'm gonna have, go ahead and try this too, because I'm always down. I think the last month had a moisturizer too that I'm going to talk about. Then we also have, oh yeah, this. This is Sephora brand, and it's a super dermoculant, oh wait, that is a different language. <laughs> This is a waterproof eye makeup remover and I actually got this as a free sample like over the holidays I think um, Black Friday shopping. Uh, I've not used it So I have two of these bottles now because I don't use waterproof eye makeup So I don't need this type of remover But if you guys have tried it, let me know down in the comments below Let everybody else know what you think of it because I have not used it and I have two bottles and last but not least we have the smelly of the month and it is Mew Mew, maybe that's how it's pronounced, by Le Bleu. I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but I think it's, it's M-I-U, M-I-U, Mew Mew. Let's smell it. Mmm, I like it. I'm gonna spray some on. 
Um, I'm not picky when it comes to smell goods, guys. As long as I don't smell like a dude, like I'm usually happy. A scent's better than no scent or smelling like a guy. So let's go ahead and talk about last month. Now I don't have all the products here. I decided instead of trying to bring all the products back, especially if they're empty or anything, I'll just show you guys the little informational from last month and talk about each product as I tried it or not if I didn't. So the first one we have is the Glam Glow Illuminating Moisturizer. I really do like that. That was really nice. It worked really well for what the hydration part and it did really illuminize like it totally gave me a glow but with somebody for someone like me who has red skin on the cheeks like and the chin like that's red areas it wasn't really what I wanted because I didn't want my redness to glow so I kind of was just like eh about it like I like its moisturizing properties but I don't like how it makes my face my redness of my cheeks glow more um, next we have take it from the drop this is the illuminizing drops in pearl I didn't try those and I have like these other ones they're like moonlight or you saw them I did a video they were in I got another illuminizing drop thing where you mix it with like your foundation or your highlighter or stuff I don't really understand how I'm supposed to mix in those drops and get it on my face without like ruining the entire product so like if someone knows how you're actually supposed to like use these where you don't have to like drop it in to your whole pan of highlighter because like how am I gonna make it make my highlighter even more illuminizing I don't know still a makeup noob but we're we're learning next is the what's up it was a highlight focused highlighting stick I was so excited for that but I found that I couldn't really blend it that well with my beauty blender or even like with my fingers. So if anyone knows of a better way to blend that, I would love it because it's really glowy and I like it, but it doesn't blend. And so like when I like slid it down my nose, my nose still had like, the, you could see the lines close up because I was like trying to blend it out, but it just wouldn't really blend out that well. Anybody have some tips for that? That would be great. Then we have the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow. This was like that purpley eyeshadow. I am so bad. Like I buy eyeshadows and I don't hardly ever use them. So I didn't use that one. I think that's the only product out of here that I didn't use. Then we have the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. And I do like that. I don't use hair products like that a lot. I mean, if you've been on my channel, you might have noticed that I don't tend to do a lot with my hair besides I used to bleach it, but I don't now, because I don't want to damage it any more than I already have. So like, I rarely put heat on it. I rarely put any like teasing or volume products in it. The only products that I do put in it is like moisturizing products, anti-frizzing products, products to help it heal from being bleached so much. And also I do use dry shampoo, which um, I the detox dry shampoo is so amazing. But that's still a good product for volume and everything. I just don't personally use a lot of like, hair products. I don't like to tease my hair a lot or curl it or anything because I don't, it's already pretty damaged from me bleaching it for God, 10 years. I want to say I started doing things to my hair when I was 13. Like I started with a perm. I had virgin hair and I went and got a perm. And then from that perm, I, that was in between my eighth year and my ninth year of school. So I was 12, 13, 14 in that area because I was always an age lower than everyone else in my grade because of where my birthday falls. So I think I was 13 or 14 when I did the perm and my hair was like curly like a poodle. And from then on, I had always colored my hair, bleached it, brown, black, red, green, blue, yellow, all of the colors I've had in my hair. You guys have seen some of the colors in my hair. But anyways, that was my little rant about like why my hair is always just like laying on my head because I don't want to kill it any more than it already is. Like the ends they need help but i don't like want to cut it because i don't want to lose the length because i had a very awful hair story oh that should be i should do a story time the time my hair melted off to the nape of my neck like no joke it happened should i do a story time about that Ooh. oh man that took a while to recover from and years of growing out my hair that that happened my senior year of high school after i graduated thank god but that year of school all right let's talk about these uh, almost said four these three new products I did just want to mention because I bought them all at the same time that I got another benefit gimme brow I love it it is a brow tint and it has it does say volumizing microfibers and I really really like it on my blonde ass eyebrows and I've gone for like more of a toned down eyebrow look now I used to do them in really like like fine like precise and dark but now I'm kind of going for more natural so what I do is I use this well actually this is first I pencil in like 
the parts of my eyebrow that don't grow in very thick which are like here and out here and then I run this over all the hairs and then I place the hairs precisely with the brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills and that's how I do my brows or have been doing them for a little bit now and the two other products okay for this one these are last because they're the best Ooh, I'm so excited so this what was this this was the Urban Decay razor sharp liquid eyeliner water resistant long wear oh this is water resistant this was actually picked out by um, one of the Sephora girls. This is the perversion color. I don't know. And I wanted, so this was the only thing that I was still using from the drugstore was my liquid eyeliner. And I use like the ones that you dip in the little pot, like actual paint pot. And so I told them, cause I don't really like felt and I don't like pencil. I don't like the brush really, or like that, um, wax stuff that you dip in and it's like waxy kind of. Hang on. I got a hair on my lip can feel it oh I got it on the first try that's amazing and so I wanted something more like like a liquid actual liquid and so this is what they pointed to it to me the razor sharp by Urban Decay oh my god so this is the little pot and this is the handle it's so long compared to what I'm used to but look oh girl it's so thin and here let me just swipe it oh pfft. My hands are so shaky, but it's so dark. I love it. Like comparatively, like look at the pencil one. Well, I kind of went over the pencil one a couple times. So this is a couple swipes. This is one swipe and I do like it, but because it's different than my, my applicator that I used was so little. So I'd be like this. Now I gotta be like this. So it is takes, it's gonna take a little bit of practice to get my wing perfect. I did do my wings today with this, which took a lot longer because it was like, a new it's like a new tool so I gotta learn to use it but I'm excited to keep trying this and then there's another one by Stella or Stilla that I'm gonna try next um, that was also one of the girl at Sephora one of her top picks okay so depending on how long you've been watching my little Sephora play videos you might know oh that the products fall out of the box that I decided I was gonna stop taking the advice of the so girls at Sephora because I haven't been really impressed with the products that they've recommended me at least this one girl every time I go in it's the same girl I mean there's been two girls that I've taken recommendations from but one girl that I take recommendations from all the time and or did and I wasn't ever really happy and so when she was like oh well have you tried the makeup forever blah 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 I'm like mm, yeah I've tried the makeup I've tried products from makeup forever and haven't been like super in love with them and she's like well you gotta try this and I'm thinking oh fuck like she's gonna rope me into getting something and I'm not gonna be very happy of it like why do they all I swear all the girls there push makeup forever I don't know do they get commission if they sell like makeup forever products but instead of just taking her word for it she actually tried these two combos on me it's what I'm wearing right now and oh my god, I love it. So this is the Makeup Forever, and this is their color correcting line. So this is the green one, the number five, and it is so great. It They have like red and yellow and orange, which cancel out dark spots, I believe. But this green color, it cancels out redness, and I, I saw such a difference because she did half of my face with this primer and then a foundation, and then she did the other half just the foundation. This is amazing. It really actually freaking is this color, for one. It's this green color. And two, it actually really worked to tone down the red in my cheeks and on my chin. I love it. And then they didn't have my foundation and at all in the store. I used Nude by Too Faced, Born This Way. And they didn't have it, so she went and like picked some. She's like, Makeup Forever. And I'm like, oh no, thinking like, no, Makeup Forever foundation but it's really light I really like it I do feel like I do need um, a little bit more of this than the born this way one I feel like the born this way one maybe has more coverage than this I do use a little bit more of this but it still feels less on my face and this is what she used in the store this what color what this was R260 so the red 260 one and ultra HD I don't really know what that means but I really did like this a lot so I am going to try this out and then come back and tell you guys like which one I liked more out of that and see how long this one lasts comparatively because my born this way Too Faced um, foundation lasted a long time for me but and since I have to use more of this I don't know but maybe it's a bigger bottle I'm just excited like these two things oh I guess I don't need to have it in there I only keep it in the box until I bring it to you guys but these two combinations oh my gosh I'm loving it I'm really loving what it's doing it just like it blends 
it matches, it's great. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and please comment below like any of the suggestions that I made here today or like any of the questions I have for you. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys in the comments below. That's it, thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe, don't miss any videos, turn on the bell notification. I do upload daily. I hope you're having a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.